Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and today I'm going to do a makeup look with Fenty Beauty Foundation with my new Your Golden Palette from Colourpop and, and uh, this lipstick basil from uh, Stella Cosmetics are the main thing. Sometimes when um, I decide to do a makeup look, I might say, okay, I want to wear this lipstick, so let's make my makeup according to that, or I might want to wear a certain eyeshadow color as my base um, idea, and then I just figure the rest out as I go. So I've already done my eyebrows. I've already put moisturizer on my face, and now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, color 300. What's going on? And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, but more importantly, hit that subscribe button to encourage more content. And I appreciate your support. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but when you wet your this is a wet beauty blender. This is a dry beauty blender. So when you wet your beauty blender, I try to, I put it under water and I squeeze it to really saturate it with water, get it really full with the water. Then I squeeze all the water out. Then I take a towel and I squeeze it again. So it's damp, not wet. So then it's helping to, instead of your sponge just eating up all of your product, it's just, it's helping to actually spread it that's just a tip from me to you I was wondering if how it was gonna be with my makeup my foundation uh, matching my skin because I haven't spent any time out in the sun and I've uh, added a few shades to my natural skin tone of tanning just outside in the pool in the sun but it's still matching pretty well I think all right so now next is concealer Let that kind of sit for a few seconds so it gets a little tacky. And then, <laughs> excuse me, it will give you more coverage as you blend it out. And when I first got the Laura Mercier translucent powder, it only came in one color, but now it comes in three shades. So this is the middle shade called Honey. Um, and I like it better. I recently got it because I thought the, the original shade that I got, one, I'm running out of it, but two, it's, yeah, it didn't have a, didn't come in color, but if you could, colors, but if you could see this one is warmer, peachier than this one. So I like this one better. All right, now let's blend this, blend this concealer in or out. I'm gonna pinch it like this as I go up my nose.
now it's eyeshadow time so I'm going to start with saunter this one And I want to do lounger. And then I want to use, uh, I think, warmer days to do like, but I don't want to go beyond my natural fold in my eye. And then you, this is like a thinner angle brush, so I'm just using it to trace the natural eyelid area. I want to use Sandy. She's pretty. And I really like on ice. It's a nice champagne shimmer. So I'm going to put that right in the corners. Now I would use a, a brown eyeliner, but I, I, can't, I don't see mine. I think I had to get rid of it and I didn't replace it. So I'm going in with black. I'm still with the eyeliner trying to follow the line that my eyeshadow followed, but not to go outside of that.
I'm gonna go in with Hidden Gem. Cheap contour. I'm gonna use this color for my old. It's my Ray Ray. It's my Ray Ray palette. And I'm gonna use a more warm blush. And highlight, you know I like to mix them all together. And I'm gonna use Beso from Stila Cosmetics, their uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I like this shade of red because I think it's an all season red, like with any um, color. There's all kinds of tones and shades and undertones. Can be yellow, blue, orange. So if you accidentally over dry your lips like I just did, you can go in with the same brush you use like for your a more precision brush and just go along your lips and remove the excess while it's still kind of wet and setting. So now that's more in line with my natural That's it. All right, thank you for watching. Please like, but definitely subscribe to encourage more content. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you liked about the video and if you saw anything you would like to incorporate into your own routine or something that I do that you're already doing. And if you want to see how I style my hair in a wash and go, then I encourage you to go to my channel and click on videos and just look at all of my videos. Give it a thumbs up because engagement is important uh, on YouTube. And I really appreciate you for spending this time with me. Have a great day.